Alright guys, um, well, welcome to the JX Maps tutorial. Um, I decided to make this video since many of you were having problems with the JX Maps. So we're going to go ahead and just do everything from scratch. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to the JX Maps website. So, whoops. Okay, so we're going to go to JX Maps and you're going to click the first link that you see and you're going to want to hit this download button. All right. Now here you'll just accept the terms of agreement and you'll download this folder, which, you know, to save some time, I've already done it. So, in this folder, you'll find all of this, right? So, you're going to open lib, which are the libraries necessary to make this run, and you'll also have where it says demo okay so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna copy JX maps 13.2 and your distribution of operating system whether it's Mac or Windows so in my case it's Mac and this JX maps demo these three libraries have to be imported in your project or else it, it won't work so alright well let's get started with writing the the code okay so first well we're gonna declare the package here so if you look at my file structure, I'm in the view class, and I've already created this map class called Mapa. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to declare the package. It's just going to be called view. And here I'm going to basically just list all of the imports that are necessary for this project. All right, so, oops. All right, so the imports that we'll be using, um, I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste them here. Okay, so um, these are the imports that are going to be necessary. We'll need a border layout since this is going to be displayed in a Java frame, um, JFrame. The time unit is to introduce a delay, which is, I found it necessary. Um, for sometimes the map won't load properly if there's no delay. Um, we'll need the swing class, and this is your dynamic array, which, you know, whichever one that you decided to, to use. Um, I'm also going to import a hash table, which is going to be very useful for us in the future. So, okay, well, uh, what we're going to do now is declare the class. So I'm just going to make it, you can name this any class you want. I'll just name this Mapa. And it has to extend map view. Okay, so that's very important. And there we see this highlighted here. Now we're going to add our our Java doc, since you know our code should be documented, and there it represents a map class, right? So now here, what we're going to declare is the attributes that are going to be used um, in this application. Okay, so we're going to have the map, obviously. So I'm just going to make this called map, okay? And that's coming from this library here. Now, yeah, again, this is just going to be the map to be painted. Uh, something else that we need are we need to figure out how to draw the circles, right? So uh, these represent the vertices. So we have a class that's called circle, uh, what's the name of that? Circle option, I think. Yeah, circle options. There we go. And I'll just call it circle options here as well. And again, this is just basically um, the specs on how to draw the circle. So what this lets us do, if we take a look at the API here, um, we can sp specify all sorts of different properties, the stroke color, the fill opacity, the radius. So that's how we'll, we'll be able to set those options. Now the other one is also the settings for the for the edges, right? So this one is polyline options and I'll just name this, okay, Did this, is there something wrong here? Oh, here. I messed that up. That is poly line options. There we go. And that's just going to be, we'll call this line options just to make our lives easier. And again, this is going to be pretty much the same thing, except this is going to be on specs on how to draw the line. <laughs> okay. Now, that's, that's it. Those are all the attributes that we need to draw a basic line. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and list our, our methods. All right. Now, 
Um, what we're going to do is first we're just going to figure out how to draw a simple line and a simple circle. All right. So one of the methods we'll have here will be um, a generate a simple path. Okay. You can name this anything you'd like. Now something particular about this is what we want to do is we're going to want to paint a line from A to B, right? Just one line. So uh, JX Maps has a, a built-in type called lat L and G. Now what this represents is really simple. All it is is, we're going to use this constructor right here. All it is is a latitude and longitude. That's the constructor we'll be using. So what we're going to have is we're going to have an array, right? We're going to have a latitude and longitude for the start and a latitude and long longitude for the end point. All right, so this is basically pretty simple. We're going to say here, polyline, polyline, and we're going to create a new polyline, right? Oh, that already got there. Yeah, we're just going to create a new polyline here. And we're going to create it, and the constructor will just be our map. Since if we click here, the construction, the constructor that it receives is the map in which you'll draw the line on. Okay, and then we have to set the path. Okay, so here, let's see, set the path, and the path will be the path specified in the constructor. That's pretty simple, right? And then here, polyline, we're going to set the options. Okay, and these are going to be our line settings or our line options, right? And that's it. <laughs> that's really simple. That's how you draw a line from A to B. All right. So we'll just say here um, generates a simple path from A to B, right? And the path is going to be the array of coordinates of A and B. Right, that seems pretty straightforward so far, but we're also going to need to know how to draw a circle, right, a vertex. So let's go ahead and write this method. Um, we're going to say public void, something similar, generate, we'll just call this generate circle, right? And it's going to receive the same constructor, except this time we'll, we're only going to specify the center, right, since we only need one point. All right, so this is going to be generates a circle at the center point um, specified. Right, and the center is just going to be um, the coordinate of the point, or the, the coordinate of the center, rather. Okay, now this is going to be very straightforward. We're going to have a circle, right? A, ver a circle class specified in JX Maps, and we'll create a new circle in which you might have guessed the constructor will be the map, okay? Now we're going to set the center this time. Okay, so when we set the center, well, the center is going to be the center that we specified. And here we'll want to set the radius. Okay, so let's go ahead and set the radius to, I don't know, let's say 20, in which this value is just, you know, you'll see how big it is later on. And we also want to make it visible. Okay, that's important. You want to make sure that it's visible, so we'll set this to true. And we want to specify the settings of the circle, right? So we're going to go ahead and say set options and circle options. And that's it. We've completed our two methods, our two primary methods that are going to generate the line and generate the circle. All right. So um, that's it for this part of the video. In the next video, um, I'm going to show you how to create the latitude and longitude array and how to set that into the JX maps just to be able to paint this line. All right.